if I was Yamaha, I would make one shot with uh, Toprak for sure. I don't know if in the official team, but for sure in an official bike, it's always a bet. You never know what can happen when you sign a rider in a different championship, even if, a, if it's a very promised rider like Toprak, who looks like he's one of the best riders in Superbike in the last 10 years. The MotoGP bikes became so complex, you need to, to manage so many things compared to 20 years ago, that all these small details are very important and you need a lot of experience to understand everything and to put together all the pieces in the, in the table. I think he, he will find a way to be also competitive in a MotoGP bike. It's a, it's a matter of time. What he can lose? I think he will always have open doors in superbikes, but he needs to try. His talent is so big that he, he needs to give it a try and, and try to find the best option possible. Off the final turn to take his 40th victory in the Superbike World Championship, the 400th for Ducati. Alvaro Bautista takes his first hat-trick here in Assen. It's like when you find the, the ideal girl, the, the ideal match for you. His complexities, his riding style match completely to the Superbike Ducati bike, who is very strong on the straight, but also competitive on the corners. Hope they, they will keep together very long time because they, they match perfectly. As uh, Jonathan Ray goes down, Jonathan Ray from third position. I stay a little bit in this situation in the past. Everything becomes more complicated when you need this extra two or three tenths of speed. Bar market, no, with the Honda. And looks like it, it happens also to Rea, to Jonathan. Bautista and Toprak are very good riders who have a very strong package. So if your bike is a little bit weaker that year and you have strong rivals, if you want to win, you have to take more risk and have more crashes.